I had occasion to be invited to India to make a presentation on respect for international law. And that caused me to do a study of the United Nations in order to make that presentation. And I was amazed that the United Nations was established for three main purposes. One, to prevent any further war, because in 1945, at the end of the war, there was no war threat in the world. Two, to give the world peace and security, and three, humanitarian services. Now, we have had several wars fought since. Several countries have the atomic weapon now, when there was only one. And uh, we have we're satisfied with a number of the humanitarian services of the United Nations, but it was not established especially for that at all. So since the United Nations has not succeeded or has failed in its main objectives, it means that it is necessary for the world to look into a different direction. And that's why the book Government of the Global Village is suggesting that we look to a new world government whereby all the countries of the world would be part of that government. At the moment, the United Nations is somewhat exactly that, because every country of the world is a member of the United Nations. And, uh, but they all sit in the same assembly and they discuss. But they haven't got the powers to do what they should do. Now, with a world government, with a government, with a world government, the world government will have the power to do what the United Nations now cannot do. And if you have a world government, I've often taken the liberty to say, right now every country has its own army, navy, and air force. America has all its uh, navy, army, and air force, and so all the other big countries, Britain, France, you know, um, just China just mentioned it. With a world government, only one Army, Navy, and Air Force to control the world you have. So, so I've often said, think of the billions and billions of dollars that would become available when instead of every country having all these aircraft carriers and so on, there would be just one system for all that. And then that would be deployed where necessary. We have seen what has happened in the United States of America, where 13 states became 50 and you have this powerful country. We have seen in Europe where uh, they started with, with, with six countries, and now there are 27 countries. So there is strength in unity. And so when the countries get together for a global village, uh, we then have all the resources for education and health in the world, and then we're going to have a world of peace, because no, no one can take any asylum in any other country, because every country would, be, would have a responsibility for every other country. When every country has a responsibility for every other country, there will be no place for rogues to hide. There would, there would be no opportunities for all this drug trading, all where you find drug lots are crippling the world and our young people. There would be uh, no place for uh, all these international crimes because you cannot hide anywhere there, because every country would be responsible for every other country. One might ask, is that possible? Of course it's possible. Uh, uh, we have had, I mentioned this myself, but when I look back into it, I saw that great mindsets so were not my humble mind. You can look back at Winston Churchill, you could look back at Albert Einstein, you, you can look at, back at Mahatma Gandhi. You can, a lot of great minds had spoken in the direction of world government, uh, Encyclopedia Britannica. You can look and see uh, the thought is there, but as I'm informed, people are always lazy to move into a certain direction because we can get by. I'm saying that the world is getting more and more complicated and it's, it's becoming more and more necessary. And the sooner the world becomes serious about the concept of a global government, the sooner it would be on the right direction, an inevitable direction, government of a global village. It is inevitable and that's the song I'll be singing until the world takes notice that the government of a global village is the only way forward for peace and security in the world.